In 2020, Elise Peterson would blast 102 point mile per hour missile. It's always seen 102 for your leader. Takes the lead. Which placed him first, as he would best to Victor Hedman, Mark Giordano, Seth Jones, and Al McKinnis. McKinnis made a guest appearance. However, Shea Weber would happen. Watch, they must cringe as they think about there facing one of those. 105 9 for Shea Weber. This is the same Shea Weber who shot a puck through the net during the Olympics. The same guy who has a long list of slap shot casualties, many of which were his own teammates. Ouch. So, fast forward to this year's All Star game. My God, he would do it. <laughs> I'm surprised by that. I wouldn't have guessed that he would be over 100. But well, let's see if he gets better than that. As Elias Pedersen would win the competition, shooting a 103.2 mile per hour shot. And to give you some perspective, Pedersen's 103.2 mile per hour shot ranks seventh of all time for a winner of the hardest shot competition. The hardest shot competition first started 33 years ago. And if you're thinking, Rob, you sound like a massive homer right now, 103.2 miles per hour isn't that crazy. Have you seen Zdeno Chara? What makes Pedersen's win this year so absurd is the fact that Pedersen is 175 pounds soaking wet, standing in at 6 foot 2. And relative to other NHL players, Pedersen is considered a smaller player. In last year's competition, Victor Hedman would win the event, as he too would shoot a 103.2 mile per hour shot. But there is a massive difference. Victor Hedman is 6 foot 6, weighing in at 245 pounds. He weighs 70 pounds more than Elias Pedersen. And when it comes to shooting hard, being bigger is a massive advantage. So the fact that Pedersen's win ranks seventh in league history is absurd, as this points toward the future of the NHL. Technology is getting better. In fact, I made an entire video on stick technology in the hardest shot history. If you're interested, I'll link it down below, check it out. But it also points toward the fact that the NHL is changing in a way where a guy like Cole Caulfield won't fall from a top 3 pick to number 15 solely based on his size. So I'll ask you, can you think of another small player who has a rocket of a shot? And also, with the way technology is going, do you think that Zidane Chara's record holding shot will ever be broken?